everybody. Joe Joseph here for the DailySheeple.com, and this is your news shot. So, The Economist is saying that asset prices are high across the board, and is it time to worry? Here's yet another publication sounding the alarm about the decades of ultra-loose monetary policy coming to an end. And they say it's best to tread carefully. Of course, you know, you don't ever want to tell somebody, oh, panic, run, run for the hills. Who knows when a contagion will strike or what will upend a market? You have no idea. I mean, you might as well gamble your money in Vegas. I, I, I truly think it's, it's um, the same category of, of thing. It's gambling. Anyway, they write, in his classic, The Intelligent Investor, first published in 1949, Benjamin Graham, a Wall Street sage, distilled what he called his secret of sound investments into three words, margin of safety. The price paid for a stock or a bond should allow for human error, bad luck, or indeed many things going wrong at once. In a troubled world of trade tiffs and nuclear um, bravado, such advice should be especially worth heeding yet rarely have so many asset classes from stocks to bonds to property to Bitcoin exhibited such a sense of invulnerability. Dear assets are hardly the product of euphoria. No one would mistake the bloodless run-up in global stock markets, credit, and poverty over the past eight years for a reprise of the Roaring Twenties or even an echo of the dot-com mania of the late 1990s. Yet only at the peak of those two bubbles has America's S&P 500 been slightly, uh, have been higher as a multiple of earnings measured over a 10-year cycle? Rarely have creditors demanded so little insurance against default, even on the riskiest junk bonds. And rarely have property prices around the world towered so high. American house prices have bounced back since the financial crisis and are above their long-term average relative to rents. Those in Britain are well above it, and in Canada and Australia, they're in the stratosphere. And to this, the craze for exotica such as cryptocurrencies, and the world is in the throes of a bull market and everything. So here's the thing. You remember the Roaring Twenties, anybody that's read up on the Great Depression. The Roaring Twenties was a time when prosperity was unlike you've ever seen it before in the United States. The Industrial Revolution had brought about automation, had brought about mass manufacturing, the emergence of marketing and public relations. So you had the shift from an economy that was needs-based to a economy that was desires based and it became your modern day consumerism a term coined by Edward Bernays see consumer is actually a derogatory term but people use it as a badge of honor why oh, I'm a knowledgeable consumer ah, that's great it means a useless eater is what he was saying and no one thought that anything could ever go wrong, that we were done with depressionary cycles. By God, they had it licked. This was in the 20s. And of course, we all know what happened. Cheap credit, easy credit was thrown out to everybody. You had everybody down to the baggers and stock boys buying stock, utilizing credit, and then the credit market dried up. And there was a margin call. And when that happened, everybody lost everything, except for those that brought that margin call about, which was your big banks, who reaped huge profits, and it was an enormous transfer of wealth into the hands of the elite. And the problem is, folks, those that don't pay attention to history are doomed to repeat it. Just because... We've hit this long run of extraordinary growth in the stock market and in the bond market and with Bitcoin and everything else. Be very wary of things that are too good to be true because 
most times, if not every time, things are too good to be true. And I'm telling you right now, what you're seeing is too good to be true. Because those that stand to make the most from a crash are only letting this go on but so long to inflate the market so much just to once again, just like in the 1920s, pull the rug out from underneath everybody and it's what they do. And in doing so, they execute another massive transfer of wealth and property and power. Until eventually, folks, there's nothing left. And we're getting to that point. So there is certainly reason to be concerned about the economy and about your well-being and something that I would certainly pay attention to and hedge against as best you can. And I'm not going to tell you how to do it. That's up to you. But don't be one-track-minded and tunnel-visioned. Stay as dynamic as humanly possible and be the best person you could be every day. And I'll guarantee you, you'll be a lot more successful than most people in this world. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.